Welcome back and thank you for joining me for video number three in the Raw Vegan Common Struggles playlist series. I will put a link down below for the playlist series as well as the link for the Raw Vegan Bundle. The Raw Vegan Bundle is back once a year it comes around and this is what's amazing about the Raw Vegan Bundle is it's all new material. Everybody has contributed something brand new. We've got Lissa's Hand Salads book in there, an amazing book with how to make wraps, uh, of course, these aren't just wraps. These are going to be all of the recipes for that particular wrap, plus the sauces. Be sure to check that out. Absolutely incredible. I've included my brand new Raw Vegan Kitchen Essentials course in there, going over the different tools that we like to use when we travel and what we use here at the house and how these really can be beneficial and really handy in a lot of ways on this particular diet. It's down below. It's only going on for, let's see, today is day three, so we've got nine days, counting down nine days from now, and it is over. So make sure you check that out. Over $1,700 worth of goodies, uh, 35 different contributors uh, for $50. You can't go wrong. So be sure to check that out and let's get into this video. Welcome back for another video to recalibrate with Nate. And in this video, I wanted to go over another one of the raw vegan common struggles, which would be cravings. Now, this is definitely something that can affect every single person in the world. It doesn't have to be just anybody on a raw vegan diet. So these would be some of the tips uh, and, and tricks that I could offer um, when it comes to cravings on a raw vegan diet. Now, a lot of times having a craving could just be a sign of hunger. You're just hungry and you kind of go back to what you're used to, which is, you know, a habit, right? So if you're used to when you're hungry, going and grabbing something that isn't most beneficial for you, a bag of chips or going through a drive through or something like that, because you're, you're having a craving, but really it's because you're hungry. These sorts of things can affect us in a certain way. When we are building those habits, we're used to those habits of, you know, when we're feeling that, that, that particular feeling around, around three o'clock or something rather, we always go down to the snack bar or the vending machine. And really it's just a sign, a lot of times it can just be a sign of hunger. So cravings in a lot of ways can just, like I said, just be your body's way of letting you know, hey, can you give me some food down here? We're getting a little hungry, we're, we're running low. Now, if you change your habit, say instead of running to the vending machine, you thought ahead and bring healthy foods with you. So when that craving comes around where you're like, oh, you know, I'm so used to having my candy bar at three o'clock and this is what gets me through the rest of the day, maybe over time you can pivot and you can start to eat, bring berries. Now berries of course aren't gonna be as calorically dense as a candy bar, so you just eat a big handful of berries and a couple of oranges say, or maybe you make yourself a smoothie or banana ice cream. These sorts of things can really help when you're having like a, a fix for something sweet and a little energy midday. But these cravings, a lot of times, these cravings are just signals from our body letting us know, hey, can you, can you feed us? We're hungry down here. And of course, the more that you do these cert certain things, you change these certain things up, making that smoothie midday, making some banana ice cream midday. This is something that I did myself. Like I brought my blender to work and I made banana ice cream around three o'clock with that three o'clock I was like, you know, I shouldn't go get a, a coffee and like a little crumpet. <laughs> you know, I'm going to make myself a smoothie or some banana ice cream. I was still getting like maybe a good two, 300 calories within that particular snack. I felt full and it just started to change the habit of not wanting to go get coffee. I was like, you know, I don't really feel like coffee. I feel really good when I just have some fuel in my belly and that was something that really helped me, was changing that habit and just over time, repetition, you start to create a new habit. Now, of course, cravings never really go away, right? They're just not there when you eat. When you're full, when you've eaten, like you know, you're not craving anything. That's why they say, oh, it's best to go shopping on a full stomach because now you don't wanna just buy anything and everything that you see. So keep that in mind as well. Now, sometimes when you have a craving, it could be that you're just bored, maybe you're just sitting around, you're just not really doing much and you're just kind of bored. Maybe you're watching a show or whatever it may be and you just kind of tend to go towards snack foods because you're just kind of bored. So we eat, a lot of times we eat out of boredom. Another could be that you're tired, right? Midday crash, there we go, the three o'clock crash or whatever. You're like tired because you need some sugar. So that's where it's nice to be able to yeah, ingest some good fresh fruit, have that smoothie or that banana ice cream, something like that 
that can really help too. Uh, your energy levels is, you know, refueling a little bit. Another thing that can cause cravings could be that you're stressed out. Maybe there's something going on at work, you're having an argument, you're kind of stressed out, and it's just natural to want to, you know, for some individuals, it's natural to want to eat when they're kind of stressed out. It's a way to soothe themselves and calm themselves down. So check in with yourself. Recognize, am I stressed out right now? Am I do I wanna eat that particular thing just because I'm feeling like antsy and you know a little anxious? So check in with yourself. Sometimes that could be an issue. Another issue could be peer pressure. Maybe you're going out, right? You're going out to a friend's house for the weekend or you're getting together with some family members or relatives and you know that you're gonna be peer pressured into having you know, Uncle Rick's favorite uh, cheese you know, or whatever it might be, right? So these sorts of things can really bring about the opportunity to practice the new habit and to show not only yourself that you mean business, you're serious about this, you're taking your health seriously, you're taking your, your well-being seriously and you're not going to ingest uh, Uncle Rick's favorite cheese that he's you know brought just for this particular gathering, right? You're going to practice your own new habit and this is going to reinforce that habit. It's going to also show others, wow, look at, like they really are serious, like they didn't take the cheese and the bread right there or, or whatever it may be right there so that's definitely peer pressure can be a great opportunity for us to practice what it is that we truly want for ourselves and to show ourselves and to also solidify those new habits that we're that we're really striving to create now of course some of the classic advice that it seems like kind of really gets that's uh, brushed around out there you know passed around would be to just ignore it right distract yourself you know go go exercise or go do something else and distract yourself or just ignore the craving so this you know of course like maybe depending on the situation that can be kind of beneficial but in a lot of ways like really are you hungry or are you thirsty sometimes i mean I, I've read in a few different places, they say when you're hungry, a lot of times what it is is you're thirsty. So are you drinking enough water? It's really important to drink water. Even on a raw vegan diet, it is really important to drink water, like at least a half a gallon a day, which would be like 64 ounces, right? So fill up on a liter of water. Just sit there and chug down a liter of lemon water or something rather, you know, some, some lemon lime water if you like that sort of thing and see how you feel after that. Now, of course, there are certain cravings that Lissa and I both have, and this is, these are some of the things that we've noticed within ourselves. Like, are we just really hungry? Like, maybe we just need to eat something, and sometimes we're feeling something a little savory. Something. Sometimes we want a little comfort food, right? So we will tap into a recipe book, which is another great reason to grab. You know, what, you know this this raw vegan bundle that we have going on. This is an amazing opportunity for anybody who's looking for new fresh recipes. We've been having a lot of fun making uh, new recipes. That's that's one of the things that we love about being a part of the Raw Vegan Bundle is to be able to see what other people are making. And it's like a little different palette. Some people take their take on a, a dressing or a dessert maybe a little different than ours. And it's just really fun to be able to tap into other people's recipes and give them a try. So that being said, you know, when it comes down to comforting yourself make sure you're nourished properly you know and and eat it eat enough right you, you have your, your your belly full you're not going to have those cravings most likely you know if you want something salty chew on some celery you want something sweet throw a little date on that celery that's sweet and salty right there it's so delicious um, of course you know we love to ferment uh, foods like we like to make sauerkraut and kimchi and we add these certain foods to our salads So we get a little salt kick in there um, Salt is important. We don't necessarily add salt to anything But we get our salt through our vegetables as well as our fermented foods So that can really help with certain cravings too because some people have those salty cravings and of course with sweet cravings it's easy to uh, curb those sweet cravings which will be eating the nice cream or eating some berries or that sort of thing, right? So anyways, that's all I have for you on this particular video of the cravings. I hope that has helped you. You know, be sure to kick the like button if you like this video. You know, it really helps the channel. As well as make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are so called to do so. And we will see you on the next one. Love you.